Hello, Gagan here. In this short video, we'll be looking at how to connect to a Cassandra database and query the database using Java. Before you get started, you need to create an account with astra.datastanks.com and log into your account. Once you're logged in, click on the create database option, which should be available somewhere here, right under your databases. And you'll be prompted to enter the name of the database. So then you can select a provider and also enter the name of the key space. Right now we are on the overview tab and this tab gives the information regarding the number of read requests, write requests, the amount of storage being consumed and also the data transfer information of your database. As you can see, I have a, a database already configured called BooksDB and once you configured your database and it is active and it is up and running, you can click on connect tab to look at uh, various options that you can use to connect to your database. Before looking at the options, we need to uh, understand what this application token is and also the connect bundle so application token contains the client id and the client secret which are like the username and password to connect to your database and this is generated one time so make sure that you're noting this down somewhere and also when you're connecting to a database through a driver we need to mention this connect bundle uh, file as well in the code so when you click on get bundle a zip file will be downloaded and this file has to be uh, included in the code which we'll see later in in just a while so there are several methods we can use a rest api or we can use uh, any of the programming languages drivers to connect to our database so for this example we'll be looking at uh, connection via java so once you have your maven project set up in your uh, ide you can uh, copy this dependency in your pom.xml file uh, which is the data stacks java driver dependency this has to be included in your pom.xml and they have also provided the uh, connection code this is basically how we can establish a session with your database and we can create a database uh, session object called, uh, called session and through this we can interact or query with our database so the other option we have is called the SQL console. This is uh, the console where you can directly uh, write your SQL queries to interact or query with your database. And we'll be looking at what are the tables that I have created so far for this books TB. So for this books TB, I have created three, um, sorry, four tables. Uh, one is called books, one is called novels, other is called fiction, and there's an empty table called history. So these are the four tables that I have created uh, so far and we'll be jumping into our IDE and do all the fun stuff. All right, here we are in our favorite IDE. You can use either Eclipse or any other IDE of our choice. I'm currently using uh, VS Code and we have uh, set up the Maven project under this folder called Cassandra Java. As you can see, it has that uh, pom.xml pom file and make sure that you're including this uh, java driver for data stacks in the pom.xml file and we have two uh, java files here uh, one is called connector the other is called operations so connector basically the purpose of this class is to return a session object we can use this uh, session object to uh, create a session so we talked about the connect bundle so in this uh, string or this variable we have uh, the path to the uh, bundle here so uh, this username and password correspond to your client id and client secret and here is the key space that we'll be using and the operations uh, uh, file contains all the operations that we're going to be performing so this uh, uh, right here it creates the session object and through this uh, session object we'll be uh, establishing and querying the database so let me quickly just run this uh, operations.java right click and hit run java so it's going to take a few seconds and there we go these are the options available to us so let's start by looking at uh, inserting records into a table so i'll select option one so it says these are the tables that are available in your key space so let's say i want to enter into the empty table history so i'll select option four it says enter the title let's say season salt size let's say 4500 year 1944 it says record has been added successfully we can either verify this from the read a table operation or we can just go back to our sql console and see whether the table has been updated 
so yeah we see the record that has just uh, entered the table so let's look at the reading a table operation so it says uh, enter the name of the table so let's say i want to read from fiction hit enter so we see uh, it displays the two records that are present in the fiction table so gagan and agatha christie so let's say i want to update this uh, year for gagan from 2023 to 2018 for example so i'll select option 3 to update and we'll select number 2 and it displays what are the columns available in the table and ask for what column do you want to update so we are interested in updating the year column so it says enter author for that row so author for that row was gagan new value for that year let's say 2018 it says fiction updated successfully we can view that from the reading operation so enter name fiction so we see that uh, the year has been updated for this author so that was the update operation let's uh, look at how we can delete a table or a row so if we click on fourth option so it says uh, do you want to delete a table or do you want to delete a row let's say we just want to delete a row and it says uh, what table do you want to delete from so let's say we want to delete from books uh, let's say we want to delete this databases table and uh, let's just select option one from books and enter the title for that row to delete so title for that row would be databases databases and it says uh, books row deleted successfully we can probably view that here select star from books and we see that row doesn't exist anymore so the delete operation was successful and uh, we have a created table option where you can create a new table for example if i select uh, create a new table it says enter the name of the table let's say um, maths books for example column name separated so let's say title year of publication let's say price and it says enter column type separated by comma so let's say text date uh, price let's say double and hit enter it says enter the primary key so let's just keep the title as the primary key and it asks you whether do you want to add clustering columns or not so for the time being let's just say we don't want to add clustering columns and select option n so it says table has been created successfully we can verify this uh, either from the console or from uh, the terminal itself so let's just do it from the console select star from what was it max so you see the table has been created successfully and title is our uh, primary key or the partition key so these are the operations so we can just hit six to quit and it takes a moment and there we go so i hope uh, i was able to uh, explain all the operations and this is the code for it and uh, this is basically a switch case that we are using here in order to switch the option that the user enters and according to that we are calling uh, the respective functions whether to create a record or create table and uh, reading a table updating a table and deleting a table so these are the various operations that i have in this code right now and i think uh, that would be it thank you